sheep didn't do that. We've all seen the sheep grazing in the field. We know how they work, right? We can imagine how the sheep got lost. We always think of it as a little sheep, right? Poor little sheep lost. This little sheep, how did it get lost? Well, it saw one little appealing clump of grass and it nibbled its way over to it. And then it saw another one. Ooh, uh, that one's good. It nibbled its way over there. And then it just up, up, up. suddenly that sheep looked up and it was lost. Couldn't see the other sheep, couldn't see the shepherd. That little sheep nibbled its way to lostness. Right, doesn't this describe exactly how we work in our lives, the predicaments we get into, the ways we find ourselves lost? We look up and we haven't even realized that we were lost until suddenly we look up and realize we have nibbled ourselves away from where we wanted to be, where we knew God wanted us to be, and under his care, you know, on the path that he wanted. And again, this can be a relationship. How easy it is for us to nibble our way to lostness when it comes to some of the most important relationships in our lives. Right? One little unfeeling comment, one ugly thing said, one time that we ignore somebody else, and it all we just get further and further away until all of a sudden we realize, gosh, I am lost. We are lost. We're not together anymore. We're on two completely different paths and two completely different areas. And of course, we wonder, how do we get back again? When it comes to our relationships, we can just nibble our way one little choice at a time. It's true with work, too. You know, we, we get into our jobs because we like, we get called for doing this particular thing, and then suddenly there are other meetings and other requirements, and suddenly we find ourselves being drawn away from why we got into doing what we were doing in the first place. And we find ourselves unsatisfied, and no wonder because we nibbled ourselves away. Nibbled ourselves into lost this when it comes to our work. Now think of this, nobody, nobody in their lives, and when it comes especially to the path that they have that God has set before them, and they want to stay on that path, and they're trying to stay on it, nobody says, nobody says, you know what, that's it. Today I'm going to turn my back on everything that I know that's good. Today I'm going to betray the person who is most important to me. Today, instead of grabbing onto what's good and what's right, I'm going to grab onto all the very worst things that I am tempted to, to, to grab onto in life. All of a sudden, decide to get off the path. Now it's one little choice after another. One bad choice, and that leads to another, 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 and then again, we find that we have nibbled our way to lostness. So what do we do? We have to recognize this every day, and especially when it comes to those little things in life, the little things that we don't think really matters. Right? The little temptations we can give in to. The little detours we can take off of God's path. The only things we know don't make God happy, don't bring glory to God's name, the things that we know God doesn't want for us, we got to watch those, each and every little step. Let me tell you, one leads to another, and to another, and to another, and soon we find ourselves lost. Don't be like that little sheep that nibbled its way to lostness. Make a stand, make a choice, right there as you're standing on God's path, continue on that path, continue on that way. One way we can get lost is nibbling our way to lostness. There's another way as well. Some people are lost, as I said, by carelessly going off on their own. And others, he said, are like the lost coin, lost because of someone else's carelessness. Now think about that. Lost because of someone else's carelessness. Now that could describe us in our lives that we are lost away from God's path because someone else has said something to us that is negative, that is ugly. Right? Gotten us discouraged. Discouraged us from continuing down that path and so we get off. And, and that's something we need to guard against. Again, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is the verse paraphrase say, don't let anyone rob you of your joy in Christ. Don't let anyone rob you of your joy in Christ. It is easy to let others come in and to discourage us and to get us off the path. But I'll tell you one thing it really says to me and reminds me of is I don't want to be that person for someone else. Scripture tells us we can be a stumbling block for other Christians or we can be a stepping stone. And we 
want to be stepping stones. Gosh, we do. We want to help people along their path. But when we are feeling discouraged, how easy it is to want to share that with the whole world. Make sure everyone around us is discouraged. If we're discouraged in our work, boy, then those people that do the same kind of job we're going to do, we're going to make sure to share with them all our discouragements with work so that they're discouraged with the same things as well. It's so easy. It's much easier to be a stumbling block to other people than it is to be a stepping stone, to be an encourager. Uh, it's very easy here in church especially to say a few discouraging words, and you know what? They get people right off the path. Get people saying, ah, oh, I don't want to go back to that place. I don't want to talk to that person. Get them saying things like, gosh, if, this is, if these are the people who are going to be in heaven, then I'm not sure I want to be there. You know, as followers of Christ, as Christ's disciples, people around us know who we are. They know what we believe. They know we are followers. We've got to be careful about what we say, about what we do. We don't want anyone to lose their way because of our carelessness. Nibbling our way to lostness. Or someone getting lost because of our carelessness. Or we getting lost because of someone else's thoughtless, discouraging comments. There are different ways to be lost in this world. We lose our way when it comes to relationships or work or our faith. And sometimes we just can't avoid it. Now, I don't know anyone who has perfectly stayed on the path that God has before them other than Jesus Christ. We all lose our way from time to time. We all hear things that we cannot help but be discouraged by. But praise be to God, God is always searching always searching. So what do we need when we, we find ourselves lost? Well, most of us know the way back. We know the direction we need to take. But one thing God can tell us is when we don't know, God can give us some direction. But I think what God gives us most of all is the strength to make that choice. The strength to get on that path to get back to where we need to be. And that is one of the great promises of our faith. That yes, we are going to find ourselves lost. Lost in the woods, discouraged, alone. But God is always out there searching. God is waiting for us to call out to Him, to seek His strength, to seek His direction. Silly sheep and lost coins. They're all around us in this world. And may God help us not to nibble our way to lostness. May God help us and keep us from being discouraged, discouraging to those around us. May God help us to play our part in finding and bringing back the lost. And when we find ourselves out in those deep woods, may God help us not to nibble our way further into lostness, not to be discouraging to others. May God help us to love Him and to have faith in Him. For He is always, always out there, ready to guide us. Ready to strengthen us. That I say, praise be to God. Amen. Let's bow in prayer. Loving God, we give thanks that you are always out there. Lord, we know that we're not going to be able to stay on the path every day. We know just one step off the path can get us terribly lost. Thank you, Lord, for knowing that you are always there to direct us back again. And Lord, help us to ask that question in our lives Where are we lost? What do we need to do to take that step back toward you, back toward an abundant life, toward a good relationship, toward a, toward a healthy and abundant world of life? We know you're there, Lord, ready to strengthen us for those journeys, and that's what we ask for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, it is... Uh,
there are a lot of strategies to keep from getting lost in the world, in the woods. Let's say you're out there hiking. We'll talk a little bit more about this in a few minutes when we gather for communion. But one way that you can be sure that you're not going to be lost is, is to stay with a group of people. Stay in, the, to stay in the group. And that's a lesson that uh, we learned this summer as we were hiking. And my son just took off down the trail. Boy, we didn't see him for a while. And he actually got off the trail a little bit. And uh, we were lucky that we, uh, we didn't pass him as he was off the trail. Well, uh, we stay together. We stay as a group. That's one way we can keep uh, always redirecting ourselves toward the path. And that's one thing this worship is all about in this community. And so if you're looking for a church home, if you're looking for a place where you can be a part of a group like that, come and see me here at the back of the church as we continue in worship, or contact me anytime this week ahead. Let me know what we can do to help you on that next step of your journey. Okay. All right, let's get